Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Apologies about any noise in the background. We are at Locals, which is only really the kind of setting we have to work with at the moment to try and get these profiles done because uh, we're in and out. But in any case, I've got Pibs from the team, Team Jam Jam Cars UK. Check the link out in the description for a cheeky little discount. Uh, so, what have you got for us? Dinosaurs today, Joe. And uh, how did it go? Oh, it went pretty well. I went 3-0 in the uh, second event, 2-1 in the first event. Not bad, not bad. Uh, you do lose to Super Poly, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like that. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Okay, cool. So, let's get stuck into the profile, shall we? Cool. Okay, start with the main deck. Yep. Super standard. So we've got three Overraptors, yep. three Miscellaneousaurus, yep. one Giant Rex, yep. uh, that's the level four dudes. Then for the babies, we've got two Arcosaur, two Baby Cirrus, one Petite. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably the correct ratio. Um, I rarely want more, but you don't need it because by that point you've either won or lost the game. So um, yeah, it's all such as well. Then Big Dinosaurs, the one Pankatrops, and the two UTC. Yep. No need to go into how dumb these cards are. Yep. Um, and then, because we're playing a sort of, uh, well, I wouldn't say blind second, but a deck that definitely can go second, uh, we're playing a fair amount of hand traps. So we've got two Ash, uh, three Droll, this is like a hand trap of the format, uh, one Nibiru, <laughs> because uh, the other ones haven't come through yet. Blame Jamie the kid for that, yeah. not dropping it through the letterbox this exactly. morning. And then we've got yeah, the Gamma right. package. I hate these cards. Uh, but They're so of, strong. You kind of have to pay them, play them, but uh, they get sided out almost every game. <laughs> yeah. Um, then that's all the monsters. Yep. Yeah. Get out of here. Any changes you'd, you'd do with that? Honestly, like the ashes become Nibiru's when I get more Nibiru's. Yep. Yeah. Because the ash and the draw conflict. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it works out fine. Uh, onto the spells. So we're playing extra, like any good dinosaur deck should be at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, three fossil big sure. because this, these cards are still <laughs> uh, three for some reason. Uh, two pill. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't play one. Wouldn't play three. Two is definitely correct. Uh, Lost world and the terraforming. Lost um, World's actually so It's underrated. actually bananas. <laughs> like, the fact that Overact can target your opponent's dinosaur is still, just to this day, stupid. Um, it's targeting protection's dumb, and the attack reduction is actually relevant. Mm -hmm. like, crazy. Sure. Uh, and then I play uh, Droplets as well. Yep. Uh, this card, it, like, it came to me today how bonkers this card is. The fact you can go main phase, play Extravagance, chain this and send the Extravagance away. Yep. It's just crazy. Like um, I broke a ball of Titan and Dragoon with it. Like, yeah. Like you, t you take out their their negates and then you just eat them with a the ultimate conductor. Or if you're me, you use it to get rid of your driver that your opponent doesn't kill intentionally, <laughs> so you can have it in the grave and you can get it back yeah. gamma. I still lost though. Big brain plays. Still lost. <laughs> yeah, and it's also in like weird situations, kind of like an optimistic mind against like striker and stuff yeah they go oh well, someone my hat here i'll just go cool i'll drop it and just get rid of all my cards yeah that's fair <laughs> yeah uh extra deck we're playing two linky boys yeah uh two secured gardeners mm -hmm. uh, a pentastag yep this card's actually kind of good um, Pierce with Conductor is nice. Pierce with Conductor, yeah. Like, they've got some like a field of tokens or something. You just go, ah, oh, 35, 35, 35. Um, I'm playing a Lambda because, you know, sometimes you have extra materials to go into that instead of going into the Secure Gardener. Yeah. And if you've got a Gamma in hand, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm playing Phoenix. Um, and then that's all the Link monsters. Yep. And for XYZs, playing the Excite on Night, because this is pretty cool. If you um, droplets away their negates, then you make this and send their board. <laughs> um, Tornado Dragon. Yeah. Uh, comes up quite a lot with Bardish being around to get through those uh, fog blades. Yep. Uh, Dweller, because, yeah, Dweller. Uh, two Lugiers. Mm -hmm. Two Dolkers. Yep. And I play an Omega just because of Gamma, really. Yep. Uh, not that that ever really comes up. But your extra deck is, isn't super important. So long as you have the Link Rebo, the Secure Garner, and a Dolker, you're going to make your board. Yeah, everything else is sort of flex. Cool. Um, 
Do we want to do side deck? Yeah, that... we can talk sideboard. I think I know that they change from like place to place yeah. and format to format, but just uh, some people have got some ideas. So play the impulm. Yeah. Usually the gammas come out for this. To be fair. Um, yeah. Especially when I don't know whether or not they're going to make me go first or second. Mm -hmm. um, dimension barrier. This card is actually like so good. But it doesn't stop super pop. Not unless you uh, you flip it preemptively. <laughs> But I think um, Dimension Barrier is probably um, MVP sideboard for this format, yeah. in my opinion. Um, I played three Book of Eclipse. I'm just sort of messing about with uh, stuff. This was pretty cool because the idea was if you start your main phase off by flipping their board face down, um, you're going to get through face... This deck chews up face down cards. Yeah, yeah. So um, it gets either fate to negate or you get to UTC through their board. Yep. Yeah. Uh, especially against um, Noble Knights as well, because you flip them face down, their equips will fall off. Yeah. Um, then Twin Twisters and Lightning Storms, because people have a habit of just putting mine in their deck. Yeah, we don't do that around here. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that this deck can't outmine, just with uh, Lost World, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, and just back row removal is really good for all those monkey decks out there anyways. Yep. Um, yeah, so I mean, that, that's the deck. It's fairly standard. Um, yeah, fairly that. standard deck. The deck in general is really strong at the moment. Uh, I think I read somewhere that it had one of the highest win rates of any um, online play at the moment. You read that from me. <laughs> uh, me, sat on my gyroscope looking at all the stats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got really like, um, it's one of the most played decks. And yeah. then it's actual percentage, like if you work out the averages. Mm. It's just, it's actually insane. It's like, it's, way just, it's hella consistent because, um, and that's really good for a, uh, a three round local yeah. setting, especially where you get a pack per win. Yeah. You just want to rake in the wins and get the prizes, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's also one of the few decks that can really solidly go second at the moment, which yeah. is in a going first format, like a niche that is good to be filled. And the fact is, is like, if you force it to go first, like it really doesn't care It doesn't either. care, it makes the same board. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it makes Conductor and then it wins. Conductor and a Dolker, like that's two negates and a flip everything face down. Yeah, seems like, pretty nice. Yeah, and then you got hand traps to back up as well. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything so, you'd change or anything you're thinking about trying out? Other than the Ashes and the, for the Nibiru, I think that's... That's about it, really. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're pretty happy with it overall. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely better than Megalith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no comment. No it's comment. It's nice to play a deck that doesn't get hit by one hand trap and you pass and lose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what Dinos used to be, to be fair. But you want to make a, uh, IP and pass, right? <laughs> no comment. Listen, <laughs> that's how you top premier events around here. Don't talk to me. <laughs> All right, well, cool. thank you very much for taking the time to go through the profile. I know it's quite a short one, but I think we got to the point. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Jam Jam Cards UK. It's pretty All much obliged to say needs <laughs> And Manuscrew, of course, for still hosting events in this trying time. Yes, trying time indeed. Well, thank you very much for coming along, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, you should definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on more in future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.